What movie should everybody watch at least once in their life? The Kung Fu Panda Trilogy, despite it being a kid's movie. The masters in the movies usually say really good deep quotes. The movie's messages can apply to a lot of people, especially when it comes to getting over traumas from the past finding inner peace. I also really enjoy the art and Hans Zimmer created the soundtrack. I've laughed out loud at a couple of parts even as an adult. Very well-cased movie. Schindler's List and Brokeback Mountain. Two of the saddest movies I ever watched. List does have some uplifting moments but shows stark desperation. Mountain leaves you with a sense of hopelessness for people who are simply wired differently from the mainstream. It is the saddest movie I have ever seen stayed with me for months. Outstanding acting but I cannot watch it again. This is gonna throw everyone off in an unexpected way. Quest for Fire FNLTT1. X to OOB, Missing Link. True Classics. Back Me Up Older Redditors. V for Vendetta. Pay attention to politicians and what they can do and not rhetoric. Hate, fear, or religion. Totalism does not happen overnight. Just like frog in slow ball of water, the frog becomes accustomed to it until it gets to hot to do anything about it. In my opinion, it started in the 80s with Reagan, The Godfather Trilogy, Back to the Future Trilogy, Home Alone 1 2, Shawshank Redemption, Goodfellas, The Lion King, Forrest Gump, Saving Private Ryan, Say 7N, Goodwill Hunting, Scarface, Truman Show, The Green Mile, The Wolf of Wall Street, Toe Story. Castaway, American History X, your name, even if Japanese animation isn't your thing, it's a gorgeous film with a great story, don't let the recent news concerning one of the producers turn you away from it, there's assholes everywhere, but rest assured the director is amazing and this movie is IMO his best work. I mean this with full sincerity, and I say God's a minus one. Not only is it a fantastic monster movie, its main theme is about whether it's more honourable to die for your country or live for your loved ones. I cried several times watching it. Go in blind if you can. It's amazing. And the world should watch the original powers of ten it's not a movie. That as an example of how moving pictures and words can be combined to illustrate the big things of this world it's unparalleled. Inside out. Crazy how well the story helped kids understand their feelings also. That they learned it's okay to be angry or have fear or sadness. These feelings serve a purpose. That being joyful all the time isn't necessarily the only way to live. Casablanca. It should be required viewing. The story is great. The history is important. The characters are memorable. Mostly though, for the cultural references they crop up all the time. You should watch it in order to be culturally literate. Laid Runner. I've been obsessed with this movie. Also the sequel. It's everything for me. The old, the new. The art. The acting. The ambience, the philosophy, the mystery. The music is out of this world. Or we call say it's from off world colony. Rubber. Probably the weirdest movie I've ever watched. Yet I can't seem to remember anything except the plot itself. Like my brain just discarded the events of the movie like some fever dream. 1010. Would recommend. I feel like dads should watch Field of Dreams after they had kids. I always thought it was a good. Not great movie but then i had kids and the last scene had me choked up for some reason it just hits harder one movie is breaking away youth angst confusion passion foolishness all presented in easy and beautiful manner the movie flow also feels good other is stir crazy both are great movies. The Matrix 1999 This movie is a groundbreaking and influential sci-fi action film that introduced the concept of the Matrix, a simulated reality, a humans are enslaved by machines. Watch Requiem for a Dream once. Don't get addicted to hard drugs. I would probably never have tried heroin anyway. But after watching the movie I was certainly not going to try it. Blazing Saddles. Not only is it possibly the funniest movie of all time. It does an excellent job highlighting just how stupid racist ideals are and usually the people behind them. The good. 
the bad and the ugly. It's no wonder Tarantino said it was the best directed movie he has ever witnessed. It's a masterpiece driven by an outstanding soundtrack. Book smart, book smart, have to watch this. I full on belly laughed all the way through and I didn't even want to watch it, I did. To Pursuit of Happiness. Watched it for the first time that I remember in my junior year career prep class. That movie will truly change your perspective on life. Koya Niskatsi. It's a film that shows the division between nature and man from back in the 1980s. I was a kid when I first saw it and it stuck with me since. You'll need to watch Twister. It's a good movie. I would say it's PG-13 though just for language. Another movie you could watch is The Martian. It's also PG-13 for language. Requiem for a Dream. It does an amazing job showing how quickly drugs can take over and ruin your life, even if they're prescribed by a medical professional. War games, if only to understand the reasoning behind the line. Sometimes the only way to win is not to play, especially in this day and age. Saving Private Ryan. I'm not ashamed to admit I cried during the Omaha Beach scene. They showed it to WW to vets, and they cried and left the theater. Blade Runner. Stalker. Rashomon. Elephant. Welcome to the Dollhouse. Best in show. Videodrome. How's aka Horsu? Just to name a couple. Once, a true indie film. Great music. Completely different from the regular Hollywood drama. Feels real and authentic. Seriously go watch once. A river runs through it if only to experience superior. Deeply felt filmmaking instead of the smaltzy fake emotion crap Hollywood kerns out. Life 1999 starring Eddie Murphy shows how a minority's life can be changed by a false accusation and a system built against them. To Live by Zhang Yimou by Beautiful by Alejandro González Agarichu, also Jean D. Florette and Manon of the Springs by Cord Berry. At least once in life, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, everyone living in modern society should watch Fight Club once they get into adult life. Rocky 1976. Point one to Angry Men. Biplash. Seven Samurai. Point two oh one A Space Odyssey. City of God. Star Wars. Jaws. Life is beautiful. The secret life of Walter Mitty Ben Stiller version. Favorite line in the movie Beautiful Things Don't Ask for Attention. Everything from about 1939 including GWTW, Fantasia, and Casablanca. Especially Casablanca. Tunnos. Try Blazing Saddles. Green Mile. Ice Cold and Alex. Terms of Endearment. Friend Green Tomatoes at the Whistle Stock Cafe. Jaws. Blazing Saddles. Akira. It's an 80 Japanese animation. It has influenced so many movies and writers. The Akira Bike Slide, for example. Pacific Rim. It's the most awesome dumb movie ever made. Oh ah. It's the dumbest awesome movie ever made honest trailers. Napoleon Dynamite. Everyone needs a good laugh with a movie that doesn't require you to follow the story super well. Hear me out. They live, it's funny, it's sci-fi, and it has a lesson for us about corporate control of society. Gone with the wind, the birth of a nation, and anything Disney was an active participant in the production. Dear Hunter. Very few movies I've seen. Even other anti-war movies have de-glamorized war so effectively. An office space. Everything that's wrong with capitalism corporate culture in one movie. Also funny as SHT. Requiem for a dream. So they understand addiction. And show a bit more empathy for others going. Through it. Japanese anim film. Grave of the Fireflies. A movie I watch once and refuse to watch it again. True romance. Not at all like the title suggests, but it should have a cult following it's that great. Scrolled to the bottom and didn't see E.T. on this list for which I am relieved. I never saw it. I'm 61. I have seen anyone say it. Radio Movie 2003 based on a true story and very heartfelt in my opinion. A lot of great suggestions here. I'll add one I haven't seen mentioned yet. Silence of the Lambs. My Blue Heaven. Steve Martin as a mafioso wise guy. Rick Moranis as an FBI agent. Tour Gold. Thief of Vendetta. The longer we go the more this movie becomes a documentary and the reality. If you don't watch Godfather I and do I will not have respect for your opinions or movies. None.
No movie is going to be enjoyable to everyone nor have the same impact on everyone. A Space Odyssey 2001 Till I didn't know how to spell Odyssey and had to look it up all now. Poor Things are although a bit strange is by far the best recent movie and will be a classic. Sophie's Choice It helped me understand the effect human cruelty can have on others. Evil Dead Evil Dead 2 Brain Dead Dead Alive Star Wars A New Hope Joe vs. The Volcano The Shawshank Redemption The strength of various characters should teach us a lot. Best in Show It's such an odd and unique comedy that is so well acted and written. Idiocracy Schindler's List Jurassic Park Ghostbuster Star Wars Casablanca The Matrix Dazed and Confused The Before Trilogy Linklater Boogie Nights, Desperate Housewives, it's not a movie, but it's definitely worth your attention. Origin, I'd argue it should be required watching in schools if I'm being honest. Hereditary, everyone deserves to have that one image burned into their mind's law. The Sixth Sense is a masterpiece that I think a lot of people would appreciate. The Last Airbender so people can learn what an actually bad movie looks like. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Everything you need in a great bit of escapism. Barry Lyndon. No distractions, with headphones and private listening mode. The Marine Saga film series. Inside Out. Also shout out to Jodie Foster's answer with Team America.